Welcome back everyone, today we will be discussing the Jordan 4 Union LA or you could say the Jordan 4 Union 2.0 since these are two brand new colorways. These colorways include the Union Jordan 4 Topaz and the Union Jordan 4 Desert Moss. Today's how to cop format will be a little different than usual since there are going to be several different drops, all of which I will be guiding you for so don't worry I got your back. This drop is taking place later this month, June, but the exact dates for each of these events have not yet yet been set in stone but I will tweet out every single one and every single update that you guys need so be sure you are following on Twitter KeithAdam10 and personals for you for all of those future updates. Retail will be $225 for both colorways. Throughout this video we will be discussing the Union LA Shopify release, the Nike sneakers release, the boutique releases then finally regarding resale we will cover that towards the end of the video as always and I'll tell you right now it's looking great obviously. With the introduction out of the way though, let's jump into how to cop these, starting with the Union LA Shopify release. In this section, we'll be going over exactly how this release will go down based off the prior ones that occurred, as well as how to efficiently cop from here with all the tips that I could provide. And if you happen to be new, I have some amazing news for you. Unlike most drops where manual is near impossible on Shopify, the method that Union will be using, or at least that I'm assuming they're going to be using if they're not idiots, is essentially only manual. Survival of the fittest manual user. The last drop, there were no bot checkouts, and I'm expecting there to be little to none for this drop as well. I'll explain why that is shortly, and why you shouldn't waste your time trying to bot it, as it will literally make it less efficient for you. The reason Manuel cooked so hard last time during my live stream, if you guys recall, is because Union LA used a Shopify drop method that we refer to as the new domain method. Although very simple, extremely effective for ensuring manual users feast. Union actually popularized this method on Shopify, but the first time using it was in 2018. We'll get into that soon. And now numerous other retailers have been using it for their collabs on big drops such as Bodega, Concepts, and many more. So how exactly does this work and what do you need to know to be one of those manual users who actually cops from it? First, in the next weeks or so, you will see Union load a new domain, specifically for this Jordan collab. Just like last time, this page will have the product pages for all the new items such as the clothing as well as the sneakers themselves. This website and all these product pages may be a little deceiving, especially for those of you who are body, because the products will actually have variants loaded on them if you view the page source, making it appear that stock will drop on there since, since they did not actually have to load those unless they were dropping stock. They could have easily just loaded the images and product descriptions if they just wanted pure marketing. If anyone recalls my Jordan 4 Union had a cop video, the first one, will see me point out that I think it is very unlikely that they will be dropping on those variants. And it seems more likely that it is a Trojan horse tactic more than anything. Because I remember exactly what they did in the 2018 drop. Keep in mind, this video was made before the domain method was popularized again by the Union 4 drop. So so some people were even doubting my prediction and went all out on botting the variants. Shout out to the real OGs who were in the legendary Union Jordan 1 live stream in 2018. Feel free to leave a comment down below if you were one of those OGs and I'll say hi to you. Crazy how time flies like that. Anyway, what they ended up doing was dropping the real stock on a brand new domain. Yes, another domain. The logic behind this and why I don't suggest you bother running tasks for it in your bot is because the domain they drop is unknown before it actually occurs. It is kept hidden from the public until the drop is live. So even if you use the custom Shopify module in your bot, which you can very well do if you want to, it will take you longer to copy and paste the new domain and the product link into your bot than starting tasks in comparison to just trying manually and adding to cart and already being in queue from there. In addition to using some tools that we'll be discussing soon. So no, it is not impossible to bot it, but it is less efficient, so there really is no incentive for botters to set up tasks anyway, and that's why there are less checkouts, because it's simply a deterrence for botters now. And that is exactly why manual users feast on these drops, and that's why we love them so much. Okay, now that you understand it, they drop on a new seeker website domain, what kind of tips do you have for actually copying those? Step one is to follow my Twitter, KeithAdam10 and personals for you. When the product is live, I will tweet out the link 
for the new domain. When you first open up the site, you should expect to see numerous products, obviously, because there should be clothing too. The shoes will either be at the very top or the very bottom of the product list. Click on either one. I wouldn't personally think about it too much, but if you had to choose to go for one of them, I would suggest choosing the Union Exclusive pair. They have around the same produced stock, but one of them is Union Exclusive. That pair will obviously have more stock on the Union website. Think about it, guys. From here, you should now expect a question. Be ready to either Google a very easy question or just answer one off the top of your head. For example, the last question on the Union 4 drop was what color is an orange? So we all know that the color of an orange is ultraviolet. That should be no surprise. So be ready to enter that as fast as you can. Following that, you will get a checkpoint captcha. Although you won't be able to get a one-click captcha since it is a checkpoint, unfortunately, I still strongly suggest that you log into that browser with a very active Gmail account of yours before the drop. This way, you don't get those very frustrating fading captchas that take 30 seconds to solve. You want the captcha to take around 5 seconds to solve, not those super long fading captchas. Those 25 seconds that you could be saving are absolutely crucial, so make sure you are logged into an active Gmail on that browser. So now, you'll be waiting in queue after this. After queue, the checkout process is pretty self-explanatory. If you have access to an autofill extension that not only autofills, but also completes the entire checkout process for you, make sure you are taking advantage of that. An example of this would be passive autofill. This is something that we provide for all endurance members for completely free. If you have access to one of these, take advantage, as it is much more than just an autofiller. It will greatly expedite the checkout process for you. For example, endurance members alone got over 200 Jordan 3 Meniere checkouts off the initial initial drop manually with passive autofill and this doesn't even include the unlog checkouts or the restocks which ended up being closer to 300. If you do not have access to one of these or you don't intend on purchasing one, at the very least I would strongly suggest that you set up Chrome autofill. It will not check out for you or automatically pass the pages unfortunately but it will at least fill in your info so please be sure you set that up. So that's exactly what you should be expecting for this Union Shopify drop. Now let's discuss the Nike sneakers drop or drops I should say although I am unable to share any exact details outside of my group endurance what I will do is walk you through exactly how it went down last time last time the first Nike sneakers drop was through a sneaker stash what exactly is a sneaker stash you may ask well essentially a sneaker stash is a shock drop that requires you to be in a certain location in order to actually purchase however this can be exploited with a location spoofer as long as they don't require Bluetooth. If you have an Android, there are plenty of free apps that do this. Just search on the App Store free location spoofer. However, it is not so simple when it comes to iPhone users. And I know the majority of you guys watching this video, or at least a good portion of you, probably have iPhones. You would normally have to purchase a program for $30 called iTools, which kind of sucks, especially if you don't cop. This is something I went over in my Sneakers Pass Had a Cop video, which I'd also strongly suggest checking out if you need help with setting up iTools. I do a step by step with putting in coordinates and everything into that video. But this is exactly why Endurance, my group, we offer a free location spoofer that one of our developers and I actually made ourselves for all Endurance members to use for completely free. This worked perfection last time and the entire group cooked many with multiple pairs considering not only did we have the free location spoofer but Endurance did provide all the early information, the exact time, the coordinates, etc. I'm going to show you my live cop that I recorded for this drop. I want you guys to take some notes on this drop not just for the Union 4s but for any future sneaker stashes in general so you know how they work because it is going to come in handy and again I'm not confirming to you guys that the new unions will be dropping this way I did not say that like I said I will not be sharing exact details I'm just trying to help you guys in a way I can by showing you how it worked last time which might be all you need all right so starting it off what are you looking at now this channel is in endurance my group where all the early info was posted for this drop as you can see I've known about this since early August now you'll see me copy and paste my own coordinates into endurance iOS location spoofer this is a program we developed strictly for members so they can spoof completely free wherever they are for those who are not in the group though you can purchase iTools to spoof for only about $30 Android you could actually spoof for completely free with apps you could just look up on the Google Play Store now as you see me zooming in, you'll start to see the exact location of where I had spoofed my iPhone's location to. 
So now the stash has already loaded. You'll also see here that I don't have a profile pick added like a bozo, even though I told my group the night before to do so because it's going to save them time. The reason I did this was so I could show you guys that it was indeed me who was copying. So I used a brand new account from my website TARS since it wouldn't have a profile picture and I could take it live. Then the countdown begins, my palms are sweating not because I'm nervous but because I've been holding my shit all afternoon, had some Taco Bell the night before. Now you'll actually see me attempt to purchase the shoe itself since my coordinates were indeed correct. However, there was a problem, at least I thought there was a problem. The price option still showed and I couldn't submit payment anymore. I thought I had been defeated at this point, but I didn't want to give up just yet. Luckily, I then exited the page only to realize that sneakers just never updated the page I was on. And I had already purchased. In conclusion, this drop was a success, but not as successful as my Travis stash where I got two pairs or even the MCA stash where I got three. But of course, I am more than happy with that. Sadly, I did forget to bring my other two burner phones to where I am staying currently. Now, aside from that potential event, we should also be seeing a normal Nike sneakers draw on a later date. I would normally say that this is going to be your number one chance by far for copying these, but that is not the case when it comes to these on the bright side. If you pay attention to this video, the prior two drops that I did mention will give you a significantly better chance since much less people will be knowing about how those work and you'll have a significant competitive advantage there. So feel free to subscribe, enable post notifications, and drop a like. <laughs> Feel free. But now what's the most efficient way to cop off of Nike sneakers manually anyway? These will most likely be loaded as a Dan release. Dan drops are also known as draws. You essentially have 10 minutes to enter in as many of your accounts as possible into the raffle. Evidently, the more you could enter into that period, the better your chances will be. I actually made a full in-depth video, which I'd highly suggest watching where I go in-depth because there is much more to it. If you guys need to make more accounts, remember that Nike requires SMS verification and you can't use the same phone number twice, so you will have to ask a friend to use their phone number and ask them for the verification code. However, if you rather not bother your friends or you just want a significant amount of pre-verified Nike sneakers accounts in general, feel free to check out my site TARS. The link is in the description below for pre-verified Nike sneakers or Adidas accounts. But now with Nike sneakers out of the way, the last drops that we need to discuss are the boutique drops, or do we really need to discuss these? Overall, you can expect these drops to all suck. These will almost all be raffles, and you know, despite them already being nearly impossible to win because of the mass competition and even the raffle body now too, you now also have to realize that they will be backdooring the majority of the stock. And Nike doesn't care, Nike's not going to do anything as always, this is sadly the hard truth. But luckily, I did show you guys other ways that you will be able to cop with a much higher likelihood than this garbage. There might be some first come first serve drops, perhaps Kith might drop first come first serve, even that's unlikely, but that won't even be possible manually anyway if they don't fix their HCAPTCHA exploit. And if they do, with the limited stock and tons of Shopify bots, it's still going to be near impossible. That's all there really is to be said sadly, mostly all raffles and at best maybe a couple of Shopify first come first serve drops that are going to be botted. And lastly, for today the resale predictions, this one does not require an in-depth analysis obviously. It should be pretty obvious for those of you who have at least some experience in this community that with this immense demand for Union Jordan collabs, especially these Jordan 4s and the very limited stock, these are going to be very profitable with a great margin. Now on the other hand, do not expect these to outperform the last Jordan 4 Unions, rather these will sell for a decent amount less unfortunately. Regardless, they are obviously a full throttle in all sizes in both colorways. But anyway, that will conclude it for today. Feel free to leave a like if you enjoyed the video or perhaps if you learned a thing or two, subscribe and 
and enable post notifications just so you stay 100% updated on all hyped releases. Also, feel free to check out the links in the description below for reliable, fast residential proxies and pre-verified Nike sneakers or Adidas accounts. Remember that the limited endurance restock will take place on Wednesday at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time, 10.30 p.m. CEST in Europe, tweeted from Endurance's Twitter. Most of you are probably watching this video after that though, so be sure to follow Endurance's Twitter for future restocks and free keys. Last but not least, make sure to follow Keith Adam 10 and Personals for you on Twitter just so you guys stay updated on all our urgent info like everything I was mentioning today, you're definitely going to need it. With that, I will see you guys later, have a fantastic rest of your day, good luck on this drop, and mention down below if you made it this far if you would like me to live stream the drop.